Tonight, you're going to want to look up and you'll see a very pretty sight, hopefully, if the weather cooperates. Earth's closest neighbors, Venus and Mars, will be hanging out for a very close meetup. It's called Planetary Conjunction. And joining me now live over Zoom to explain what that means is Jim Garvin, NASA's Da Vinci Principal Investigator that might win as the best job title around. Jim, <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight. Well, thanks for having me. What an exciting time. So exciting. Can you explain what it even means when there's a conjunction in the night sky? So we have two neighbors, Mars and Venus, and normally they're really far apart. But every so often in the dance of the planets, they co-align in the sky. They're almost at the same place, although still millions of miles apart. And when that happens, it's a conjunction. And we can see two planets, our brother and sister worlds, up in the night sky reminding us of our neighborhood. And you can even see, if it clears tonight, the crescent moon. So you have this little, not even first quarter moon and these two bright orbs and Venus will be super bright. How can viewers spot Venus and Mars? Do you have to have a telescope? Well, not to see Venus and the moon. Definitely not. Venus is the second brightest thing in the sky. Mm -hmm. She's pretty close. And so if it's clear, North in the north, or I should say in the western sky, just above the horizon after the sun sets, there's this bright thing. It's the night star tonight. Mm -hmm. so often it's the morning star. So you can see Venus. And then a little red dot just to the, to the left of it is Mars. And we have spacecraft going to these worlds. What a great time. Did this meetup involve a lot of travel for these two planets? I'm assuming it took them some time to hang out. <laughs> That's right. It happens not that often that these worlds co-align in this conjunction. So we take advantage of it to remind ourselves of our neighborhood. Well, it looks like it's really time for Venus to truly shine. Can you tell us about the new upcoming missions to go and study it? Absolutely, Megan. We're so lucky. NASA selected two missions to open that lost frontier of Venus. One, a global mapper to look at the nature of the landscapes at kind of city block scale. And another mission, our own mission called Da Vinci, named for Leonardo, is going to go and take the plunge travel through the entire atmosphere of Venus, opening our eyes to how Venus atmosphere works, lost oceans, things we've never imagined. We're going back bigger and bolder now for the first time in decades. So we're all very excited. And is there a way to use your hand? I saw NASA had posted a couple pictures to spot this conjunction tonight. Well, if you look up in the sky tonight, there's a bright dot down here, Venus, and then a red dot over here, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. And then up at the top, there's the crescent moon. So if you okay. look up, you'll see this little trio of friends in space reminding us that we're going to be sending women to the moon. We're sending spacecraft to Venus and we have rovers on Mars. It's almost a traffic jam with curiosity and perseverance still going strong on our, our brotherly planet. So you said Venus, thumb, Mars, and then the and star the at the top. Yeah, which is the Biggest moon. star. The biggest one right. out there, right? Yeah. Well, all right. Avoid, um, and hopefully if it's not good tonight, you said tomorrow, we'll still be good. We'll still be able to see Venus and Mars. The all moon right. will have changed in position. And after a few days, of course, we won't have this, but stay tuned every year or so we have these conjunctions. Well, thank you for your time, Jim. We appreciate it.